What's up, YouTube? I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. You're watching Get Your Sax Together. Okay, so what is this magical mystery thing that all those incredible musicians, those incredible saxophonists that you can see on the thumbnail all do that maybe you don't? The answer, terminal vibrato. Okay, great. What is terminal vibrato? So terminal vibrato is when you get to the end of the note and you hit a vibrato, but it's not like a normal vibrato. You really got to shake the tree to get that terminal vibrato going. But just so you know what I'm talking about, here's a couple of quick examples of terminal vibrato from some of the greatest people ever to play this instrument. Right, so now you know what I'm talking about, why do you do it? Well, why do you do any of these cool phrasing things on saxophone? It's to sound more like the human voice. When you hear singers, they'll often hit a note straight and then bring in the vibrato at the end. And when you play saxophone and you want to sound really lyrical and make your sax sing, just like I teach in Phrase Like a Pro, we're trying to copy what singers do. We're trying to copy that raw, beautiful emotion that the human voice conveys. That is why we add this vibrato at the end. So that is the why. Now let's get to the nitty gritty, which is the how. So how do you do tone vibrato? The answer is, it's pretty much the same as how you do normal vibrato, but much more pronounced. The reason that most people go wrong is by making it too subtle. So let's practice this little drill. Step one, let's just take a, like a, a, a low G, just to, so it's an easy note. You're gonna play that G, you're gonna then move your jaw down until the sound completely disappears. I'll go side on so you can see me. So as you can see, there's a dramatic dip in pitch. And then uh, obviously once your lips come away from the reed, all the air disappears and it's game over. You're not gonna get any sound. Now you're gonna drop your jaw and you're gonna bring it back up as well. So that's step two, here we go. All right, that's step two. Now step three, you're gonna do the same thing, but before that sound completely disappears and your lip leaves the bottom of the reed, you're gonna catch it at the very bottom point and then you're gonna bring your jaw back up. Okay, step four, let's speed that up a little bit, but don't, here's the important bit, which is different from normal vibrato, don't make the intensity of that bend. Don't make how much you drop your jaw change. This is a big drop of your jaw. It's a big drop of your jaw. Really big. Bigger than you're gonna be used to. Bigger than you're gonna be comfortable with. It's big. All right. So now let's speed it up. So 
Sounds ridiculous, right? But that's not what it's going to sound like in context. You've got to practice it like that first. So the final step is to play a long note and then hit that biggie for a couple of shakes. A couple of shakes of a lamb's tail. That's what my mum used to say. Why did my mum used to say, I'll be there in a couple of shakes of a lamb's tail? Anywho, <laughs> we're going to give the lamb's tail a couple of shakes. How ridiculous. Okay, here it is. <laughs> All right, terminal vibrato, just like shaking a lamb's tail. All right, and that's basically it. Now, it sounds ridiculous when it's out of context, but once you play a nice line, you hit that note, you give it a little wobble at the end. Now, you're only going to do two or three shakes. <laughs> that lamb's not going to be in too much bother because you're only shaking its tail a couple of times. <laughs> Right. Um, let's try it. Long note. Shake, 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 shake. All right. That's it. Sometimes it almost feels like there's almost one shake. And at the same time, now here's the really important uh, bonus pro tip. At the same time, you have to tail your breath off. And sometimes it feels like that big wobble just almost goes into air. Okay, this is something that you hear in a lot of those kind of smoochy tenor players, uh, the Ben Websters and all that, um, even like Lester Young. They do that subtone, they do the big shape vibrato, and it, it almost just turns into chuffs of air. And that would sound more like this. Can you hear it just goes into the chuff of the air? So... That's the final part of this uh, of this terminal vibrato puzzle piece is tailing off your air, but sometimes you're kind of tailing off the sound before the air. All right. Now, if I throw a couple of lines into the mix, you're going to see how the finished product sounds. But just before I get there, let me briefly mention that I do have a completely free saxophone success masterclass for you to delve into at your leisure. And it's going to help you with practice, with um, with improvising, with lick, licks and tricks. All sound, it's got the, the works in there. It's really awesome. It's a really awesome masterclass. And you can get that for free just by using the link, which you can see there. You can click the link in the description and uh, help yourself. All you've got to do is fill in your email. It's ready for you right now. You're going to love it. It's a saxophone success masterclass. Okay. Let's move on. Here is the final product. I'm going to play a couple of lines and then throw that terminal vibrato in at the end. Here we go. So that's all we've got time for this week. Hope you enjoyed learning about terminal vibrato. Sorry about all the uh, lamb tail shaking. <laughs> Don't forget to go and check out the Saxophone Success Masterclass. And guess what? If you love saxophone and you want daily contact with me and you want loads of insanely wicked content, check out the Inner Circle. It's the best place to be if you're an enthusiastic sax player. It is super affordable. It's less than, you know, a few cups of coffee a week. You're going to absolutely love it. We have special guests, celebrity saxophone special guests. We have a monthly Q&A where you can ask me stuff. We have a monthly inspirational solo of the month. There's an amazingly busy and enthusiastic community. Just ask anybody who's in there. You are going to love it. Go and check out The Inner Circle. In the meantime, until next week, make sure that you practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. Take it easy. Bottom jaw, you've only got one jaw. You don't have a top jaw, do you? That's your skull. I never know that. <laughs> you've only got one jaw. It can't be your bottom jaw, can it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ah. <laughs>